What is up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, the Traxium Turbo Warp Undertale engine and if you like, please leave a like and subscribe if you want. Alright, now we're going to get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is go in the description and click on the link which will lead you to this. Uh, and then you're gonna want to download here. I already have my copy, but download this and then when it's downloaded You can go back to turbo warp and then click file load and Then go here. So what you're gonna want to do click the flag once then press a and you're gonna have um, This little intro here for it and then you can click Z to uh, head into your little battle. And see, this is what it looks like default. Now, you're probably going to want to change these guys. Maybe only have one. Change the music and all this stuff. And it's all possible. So I'm going to start with monsters first. So this is where your enemies are going to be at. So what you want to do first is uh, look at this. This controls your monsters, so if you want to have multiple monsters, you can like follow how this is, but for this, I'm going to only be using one monster. Give me one second, and I will be right back once I have a sprite sheet in here. I'm just going to use the base Undertale Sand Sprite. You can download this in the description, there will be a link there. As you can see, this is all in like sheet. How do you separate it? Well, what you could do is what you would, you would convert to bitmap, but then you see it gets all pixely and bad, and we don't want that. Uh, so in order to get it in high quality, pretty much up upscale everything up to a pretty good size let's go to uh get the torso right here um should be about good and then you want to make a new costume convert it to bitmap and then paste it in and if it loses quality then just go back to your vector version of it and make it bigger until it doesn't lose any and then you're not gonna want to change the size of this anymore once it doesn't lose quality pretty much what you're gonna do now is you can now cut this apart using this arrow tool um and pretty much just do what you would kind of assume so you're gonna grab a piece and then paste it also into a bitmap sprite in order for you to cut it out of the color like this uh so then we have sans's torso here right and we'll just plop that right in the middle uh and we'll just call this sprite torso and then we have the legs right here we'll just grab these and we'll do pretty much the same thing uh we'll just put them in and uh remove the color so then we only have the sprite itself all right so now we got this to make it easier you should try and get these to where they are in the right spots it'll make it a lot easier when setting it up but it's not necessary Necessary, but it does make things easier. Oh, yeah, and then we're gonna name this legs and then this one is going to be the head sprite so let us go so you're gonna go up to your vector and then just like go down to where your faces are gonna be and you're gonna have all of them usually in one spot and remember to not change the sprite size of this after you've got it good for the other ones or else it'll uh, be more difficult in the setup paste it into here remove the background like so and then we'll put his face about right there and uh what i like to do because in a future episode of this i'm gonna teach you how to do different facial expressions and stuff but we're just gonna call it head one for now you could just call it head or face one it doesn't necessarily matter whatever works for you i just like to start with like head one uh, when i start adding other stuff and you don't need any of these other sprites so you can go and delete these if you so please uh which i'm gonna do just to clear it up and then now that we got our things we're gonna go over to here so this is where you're gonna want to do stuff all right so with this 
we're gonna put this here but this is only spawning this uh, this swath is gonna go to here and it, like it says if this sprite clone type is swath then it's gonna do this stuff so. uh, you don't need to keep these here um what I'm going to do is uh, grab this part specifically and we're gonna name this head um, and then we're gonna remove that stuff all right so you're gonna want to grab a switch costume block and put it in your um, your little block here and then change it to your head and you can take this off and you're gonna want to attach all these uh, if sprite clone type people's head then to um, uh, this when I start as clone uh, and we're just gonna put these all on so this will be torso and then we're gonna add torso and one thing to remember with this you're gonna have to set sprite clone type to head and then you're gonna wanna do torso and uh, I'll teach you some things about how this works in a second but let's just put these down and then we have legs and we'll put this as legs uh, and it isn't cap sensitive I just like to keep it uh, nice and neat like that um, and then now that we have all that we can go ahead and start it again but you'll see nothing is there and this is because we have not specified size or anything so first thing we're gonna want to do is grab this and change it to sprite x right here and then just change it we're gonna go zero because we want it to be in the middle and if you have like multiple monsters and you want to have them set up you might have it different so we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna do the same thing but for the Y and there should already be these variables in here for you so you don't have to make any of these so just find sprite Y now and we're gonna set it to like a hundred let's say uh, and then you're gonna do you're gonna grab another set and then you're gonna type uh, dire in there for direction and then you're just gonna set it 90 and then you're gonna grab another block and search size and you're gonna wanna set that to probably about 100 and then you can put all this in the rest of them and then we'll see how that looks alright so we have the sprite showing but clearly it's a bit big so I'll spend some time sizing it down and getting it uh, good pretty much if you want it smaller or bigger or things aren't in the right place I suggest like this head is too high up uh, we can go into here and then lower it like this and then it will lower on there but you can see how it's going behind the torso and we don't want that now you may think that you'd want to go to like looks and then set this to go to front layer but uh, what you should do is the order in which you do this is pretty much how it's gonna layer so like legs was the last one so it's the top layer uh, so you're gonna want your head probably as your last thing and then your legs are probably gonna be your first thing just so everything's nice and good so now it should probably look like this uh, and if we were to restart that looks a bit better doesn't it um, let me just move him down a bit uh, and I will be right back once I have everything looking good all right we're back and I've gotten the size pretty much down if uh, you're doing this your sprite size is probably somewhere around 85 though it really just matters how big you ended up making your vector uh, but once you find it nice you're probably gonna want this 
to move, right? Um, so here's how we do this. You're gonna want to go to control on the side and then grab a forever and put it right here. And then you can grab pretty much everything that you are gonna animate and put it in here. So we're gonna do the X and the Y for this. Then what we're gonna do is what I'll do is I'll pretty much copy paste this and then we will uh, just switch this to this last box right here so that it sits in there and then it'll look like this and when you put this into your X this will be where it starts as its X this first box so we're gonna set that as zero and then for the Y, we're gonna just paste it in there and then add a hundred there and let's see how it looks. All right, you can kind of see the head kind of moving like that. We kind of want it to do how Sans's head moves in the actual game. So we could set um, these two boxes. This one controls how fast it moves. And this one controls how much it moves. So what you're gonna wanna do is basically, we can set this back to five. Uh, you're gonna want the X uh, on how fast it moves to be at half as much as whatever your Y is to get this sort of uh, Sans's heads moving, uh, how it kind of moves. And uh, we can speed this up, probably set it to like five, and then we'll set this to 2.5. And then if we play that, it looks all right. Maybe you lower these numbers and it will look good. Yeah, there he is. And you can uh, play with these numbers a bit if you want a different outcome. Uh, and now we're gonna move on to the torso. We can pretty much just copy and paste everything. All right, so something that I recommend is setting this um, one's movement one higher on the Y than the torso. So the torso we're gonna set to like, let's set it to two and we're gonna set this to three. And then let's try that. And then we got Sans's movement and we can see it's moving pretty good. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Next time we're gonna go into uh, how the variables work and how you deal with all that stuff. And uh, goodbye.